the Applied Geology section of the Department of Earth Sciences. The Department of Earth Sciences can be located in two buildings on campus. The Applied Geology section can be found on the ground floor of the Chemical Sciences Building and the Environmental and Water Science section of our department is located in the Life Sciences Building on Level 3. As the Department of Earth Sciences, our main research aim is to study the fundamental processes and to investigate the linkages between the different components of the Earth system. That would be the solid Earth, the hydrosphere, the biosphere, and the atmosphere. We have a number of research areas that we are involved with. Um, some of these main areas are in petroleum geology, economic geology, and exploration geochemistry. And then we also have integrated water resources management, surface water, as well as groundwater studies. The way the applied geology degrees are structured at UWC is that at first year level, you may have been accepted either for a BSc applied geology for a three year period, or you may have been accepted as a BSc applied geology student for a four year period, or what is known as the extended curriculum program or ECP course. At the end of your studies, the degree that you will obtain from either the three or the four year degree will be the same BSc applied geology degree. There are some basic subjects that will be covered um, during the course of this degree, which would include chemistry, physics, mathematics, and earth science, which will then later develop into geology, some more chemistry, and then environmental and water science. Once you have completed your BSc Applied Geology degree, you may then apply for a postgraduate degree, which is called the BSc Honours in Applied Geology. The duration for this degree is a further one year, and this program is a general geology program that covers most fields in geology, such as petroleum geology, sedimentology, and a number of others. Should you wish to continue after you have completed your honors degree, you may then apply to do a master's uh, degree in applied geology. Following this, we then have a doctoral degree in applied geology. So once you are ready to begin your registration process, these are just some terms that you need to become familiar with as you proceed with your registration. Firstly, I mentioned a few subjects before. These subjects when we register are called modules. And then we have certain modules that are core modules. In other words, these are compulsory subjects that you have to register for as part of your degree. And then we also have what is known as elective modules. So these would be optional subjects that will form part of your degree from which you will gain credits to complete the minimum number of credits needed to pass each year and then to obtain your degree at the end of your uh, studies. You will also come across a term once you continue with your studies which is what we call the prerequisites. So this will be for level two onwards for those students who are registering for second and third year. The prerequisites, these are modules that you would have had to pass at a lower level before you can take the next level module. For example, you have to pass uh, physics 116 and physics 126 to be able to take physics at second year, uh, specifically the physics 217 um, course. So if you would like to do a second year geology module, there are certain modules that you would have had to pass at first year. And this is what we refer to as prerequisites. If you are going to register for the BSc Applied Geology three year degree, you can find all the information related to the modules you need to choose in the faculty yearbook on pages 20 to 24. This will include all the core modules that you need to register for at first year level, which will include Earth Science, Triple One and 121, Chemistry, 114 and 124, 
physics 116 and 126, mathematics 115, and then you have to choose computer literacy either in the first semester or the second semester. And then you have to choose English for educational development. That will be either in the first or the second semester. Should you choose to do computer literacy in the first semester, that will be the COS 114 code. You would then have to choose the English in the second semester, which will be the EED 127 code. You are not able to register for both English and computer literacy in the same semester. So one of it has to be in the first and one in the second semester. All the modules for this degree at first year level is compulsory. So these are all core modules, which means that you have to pass all of these modules in able to proceed for your level two or second year. The total credits you must be registered for at first year for applied geology is 135 credits. Each module counts 15 credits. If you are registering for year level two of the three year degree, you would have to register for five compulsory modules. That would be applied geology or APG 231, 232, 233, and two chemistry modules, which is chemistry 211 and chemistry 212. You will then have the option of selecting one environmental and water sciences module either the first semester one, which will be EWP 211, or the second semester one, which is EWP 221. You may only register for six modules in total, so you would be able to select either the EWP 211 or 221 as an elective module. For all of these modules, the APG and the EWP modules, Earth science is a prerequisite, which means you must have passed ESC 111 and ESC 121 at first year level in order to register for these modules. For the chemistry modules, you must have passed chemistry 114 and chemistry 124 in able, uh, to be able to register for chemistry 211 and 212. For second year, your total credits will be 120. Each module will count 20 credits. If you are registering for year level three of the three year degree, there are only four modules for you to choose, and these are all compulsory or core modules. APG 311, 312, 321, and 322. Two are in the first semester and two are in the second semester. And these are total 120 credits. Each of them count 30 credits. If you are a new first year student and you have been accepted for the BSc Applied Geology Extended Degree, at your first year, you would need to register for three modules. And these would be your core or compulsory modules. It would be Mathematics 151, Physical Science 151, an introduction to science 153. These modules total 60 credits, which is what you need to have to complete your first year. If you are registering for your level two of your extended degree for applied geology, provided you have passed all your modules at level one, at level two, you need to register for two chemistry modules that will be chemistry 116 and 126. You need to register for Physics 152 and then the two Earth Science modules, ESC 111 and ESC 121. These modules will total 75 credits, which is what you need to complete your level two for the extended degree. If you are registering for year level three of the extended degree for applied geology, there are five compulsory modules for you to select to register for. Three applied geology modules, that would be APG 231, 232, and 233, along with two chemistry modules, chemistry 211 and 212. Please note that the, there are prerequisites for these modules. In order to register for the APG modules, you would have had to have passed ESC 111 and ESC 121. In order to register for these two chemistry modules, 
the prerequisites are that you have passed chemistry 116 and 126. With this, you also have the option of taking one elective module, either EWP211 or EWP221. So this is from the Environmental and Water Science course. You can select one module so that your total credits for this year level 3 is 120. Each module counts 20 credits. If you are registering for level 4, which is the final year of the extended degree for applied geology, there are four compulsory modules for you to register for. Each of these modules counts 30 credits. Two of them are in the first semester and two are in the second semester. So you should be registered for four modules in your final year. That will be APG 311, APG 312, 321 and 322. So if you have been accepted to complete your BSc Honours degree in Applied Geology, you would need to register for all the modules that are available. Your total credits will be 120 and you would need to select the general stream first before selecting the modules that you have to register for. If you require any further information regarding the degree that you need to register for, you are welcome to check the Faculty of Natural Sciences yearbook and the Applied Geology 3-year degree is on pages 20 to 24. The Extended degree is on pages 75 to 79 and for the Honours degree it is on pages 125 to 126. If there's anything that's not clear or you're not sure of which modules you need to register for, you are welcome to send me an email to ywilliams at uwc.ac.za. Thank you.